You're listening to the voice of IWA Flip. Oh, man. You know those bells can only mean one thing and one thing only. The A-I-L is in full effect. My goodness. Ricky Kyle and Annihilation Inc. once again on top. Is anyone going to stop these guys? With me in studios today, the manager of champions, Gerald Horton. Jerry, welcome to the show. Thank you, Flip. Thanks for having me here. Oh, man, Jerry. A-I-L, once again. What are we going to do with these guys? Don't know. They're becoming one big threat. They're proof for a fact. They put their roots into the round of the LSL and right now they ain't going anywhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, respect where respect is earned. AIL right now. Right now, it is the AIL. We can't we can't mess that up because, like you said it, they've earned that respect. They've rooted themselves here. Anytime they win, we gotta respect a, a, AI now and, uh, you know, give them the credit. Now, which brings up Something amazing that's happened, bro. I mean, I'm still, like, jaw drop trying to pick myself up and, like, wrap my head around this. Because Crown, Slash, and Axel brought home their second IWA six-man? Yeah, Are you kidding did. me? No, they did it. Man. Ba- I mean, wow. I mean, that's just, to me, it's amazing, bro. I mean, shout out to you know, to Ricky Kyle, out to their manager, Kyle Queen, for, uh, he, he says luck, but yeah, that's that's awesome. That's, that's some great luck you got there, but, <laughs> oh, man. But you know what? I, 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 I'd actually told him uh, this, uh, that I think the IWA definitely likes when people put AI in front of their... Uh, in front of their characters, because all of a sudden my characters are doing well. Well, well hey, let's let's get to the front page here, Jerry. Let's get to the front page. Oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got uh, the AIL slash LSL bulletin number two thirty seven. Our World Swamp Champion AI's Crown. Congratulations, Crown. Man, oh man! Now American Extreme Champion fourth. His fourth? His fourth one. Son of a gun. Wolf Den's Eric Fontaine. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations, brud. King of the South champion. They had one hell of a cycle. I'm glad the king I'm glad the king and his crew, uh, the money makers or 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 I, I think I think that's what they call themselves. Awesome Mina Colossus is our King of the South. The money makers had a great cycle. We'll we'll get more into them in a little bit. Yeah, congratulations, Mina. Bowl? We got bowl? We got a bowl? I'll, I'll take a couple bowls. Be- before every show, I'll take a couple bowls. What? What is this bowl? <laughs> fish Fish bowl? What kind of bowl is this? Yeah, who knows what kind of. Well, they, they, they've made their presence. Uh, and looks like uh, Southern Heritage champion, Crazy Upchuck. This is another son of a gun, man. He's, he's, congratulations. Whew. Where we go, Bowl? Hey, I'm a drink to Bowl, brother. Bowl's in the house. Primetime elite champion. Ah, moneymaker himself. King Achilles. Shout out to the king. Shout out to king, man. Ah, brass knuckles champion. <laughs> I'm telling you, these sons of guys. Man. Look at them. Prince Tear. Brass knuckles yep. champion. Another one of the moneymakers. Congratulations, Prince Tear. Oh man, I thought I, I thought I thought the legends of the past, present, and future were going to be left out of this front page again, man. But no, here they are: Colossal Fear Champion Jackson Rogue. Congratulations, Jackson. You know what? They, the, the legend the legends have been a little quiet lately, but they, Just... they're, they're back. They're back. Mm-hmm. North American Champion, another AI. Our Foundation's Red Rum Vendetta. Yeah, the crowd goes wild. Congratulations. Red Rum. Uh, Iron Fist champion from the Battle Royal. 
Ah, Ghetto Fabulous is Pipsqueak. Congratulations, Pipsqueak. Great job, buddy. There we go. Finally over the 500, the, <laughs> over the Mendoza line. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no that's, a, that, that's 200. That's 200. Sorry, Flip. Finally over batting over 500. There we go. First Blood Champion, Swordfish Tim. Bad News Crew, buddy, represented. Good job, Swordfish. Southern Hardcore Champion, also for the Bad News uh, Club crew or whatever they are. Sexy Awesome Michael. Yeah. Or Sexy Michael Make Awesomeness. Yeah. The name says it all. Congrats. Dude, he had himself one hell of a dance off against Chicken uh, Legs Peg, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll get into that later. Uh oh. Also from the Battle Royal, our Barbed Wire Champion. Both midgets. Could you imagine that battle royal with both midgets at the end of the battle royal duking it out? Oh, man. Minute. What a show. What a show. Leprechaun, back. Glad to have him back, brother. Congratulations, Leprechaun. The legends are back on the front page. Uh, League Tag Team Champions, Hard Foundations, Death Inferno, and Red Brum. Yeah. Also, representing, also representing AI, I'm telling you. Kim likes those uh, AI initials, brother. Showing some oh, yeah. love. Showing some love. Uh, tag team champions, uh, Blade Brothers, uh, and King uh, Night Hatcher. Yeah. Congratulations. Now you can celebrate with Baby Ruth. Yeah, Baby Ruth for all. You got a little something going on, huh? With uh, IOD, I heard, huh? Yeah, I've got a little issue with iod they were claiming war goddess is back and all i have yet to see that <laughs> they got war goddess yeah right as far as i know she's rocking oh well we'll get into that Ah, uh, here we go league six man champions we uh, started the show with them brothers ai's uh, crown slash and axel also uh iwa world champions also uh ail slash lsl six bag champions Somebody give them some competition. Who's out there? Uh, Bad News Crew, where are you guys at? Uh, where's uh, where's this uh, LPPF crew? Where's the order? Dude. You guys got had... to Yeah, step it up. Oh, man. What do we got here? Uh, Battle Royal winner. Oh, no, wait a minute. Six-man uh, TV champions. OD, look at these guys. Mm -hmm. Nice. There Congratulations. You go. More, more baby roos for everyone. Yeah. Better enjoy them while you still have teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Battle Royal winner. We said it already. Pipsqueak. Congratulations, Pipsqueak. <clears throat> now, uh, obviously, since we got you on the show, Jerry, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and kick it off with, uh, uh, with you guys. Uh, uh, looks like, uh, Looks like the pages are turning here in the LSL, and uh, it looks like uh, I, I don't want to trigger them and uh, and bring them up, but it looks like AAA is no longer uh, in your uh, cross, or, 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 or you're no longer in their crosshairs? No, I'm no longer in their crosshairs anymore. I think issues got settled last cycle, and now they have a major ongoing feud from what I've seen against the Reds. Mm. Nice. We'll get we'll get into that one in a little bit. So what what's going on with you guys? It looks like uh, you're mentioning uh, War Goddess is uh, is well IOD is claiming War Goddess. They're just gonna take her. They're they're well. I'm not many people know. You know, um, Tim knows, and Rob and Robert Harper know that um, there's a, that War Goddess was once part of the IOD. She, everyone can remember, they were six-man champs together, I believe, when War Goddess first got to the LSL. But then when Eric Fontaine, Lockdown, and a bunch of them came along, I think mostly Lockdown, Salvation was created, and she split away from them and became part of Salvation for a while and was doing pretty good. And the IOD got a little sore about it, and there was matches back and forth, and now they claim that they have her back, so I don't know if they mean like they kidnapped her back or if they bribed her back or who knows. I mean, we'll know more next cycle what's going on because normally with War Goddess, I handle all of her contractual obligations and, you know, anything that goes down, I know about it. Personally, I think IOD's playing mind games. 
<laughs> now, aside aside from the the whole little war goddess action going on with, uh, is it uh, Link with Link, right? Yes, with um, Link, Blade Runner Link. Uh, it looks like uh, it, there's a manager to manager challenge. Yes, I was going across this, and this uh, and this my name ended up said Paul versus Gerald, and I'm like, okay, and he sent me out a challenge. He said, this is 237. If you agree to the challenge in 238, I will sign the first set of matches for the for the 239th, which I am cool with. It. I do not mind. And some of these matches, like the greatest of the series, Night Hatcher versus Eric Fontaine, that's a dream match I'd love to see. Those guys could bring out the best of each other. And and both of them are sitting pretty in, in the top 10. Both of them are... Yeah. are, are fighting for the uh, extreme and the world cha- and the world swamp champion cycle in cycle out so yeah I'm definitely that's definitely one I would definitely put my money to watch oh yeah I mean they'll give the fans good I mean great matches I mean those two those two have traded wins against each other against each other titles for titles they've also beat each other in regular matches when titles weren't on the line and let let's let's get it on that now now let let's be honest with ourselves, Jerry. I mean, definitely the singles. It, I mean, you've said it time and time again. Singles is where you're you're strong, you know, strongest. Yes. But he looks like he wants a little of everything. He looks like he wants some tag action, some six man, which obviously we know. Uh, uh, and he has here he has salvation, but you're no longer salvation because this cycle you introduced the uh, the the newly formed uh, Wolf Den. Yes, the Wolf Den. So if he still wants to put IOD against Wolf Den, he can, but there's also still some members of Salvation that are still around too. So, but if he wants, if he's getting my attention and wants wants to go against, then put IOD versus Wolf Den in the six man. I'll put my three against your three. I don't care. Nice. Yeah, it should, and, it should be fun. Yeah, and he wants the Blade Runners Lincoln Sloth against um it says war goddess and lionheart but it's actually war goddess and black wolf horton so if he wants a shot at war goddess and black wolf horton that's fine i want to let's do it there too i mean let's get the fans what they want i mean iod if i know you can walk the walk i definitely can walk the walk and so can my wrestlers and i know paul can walk the walk so yeah, let's, uh, th- this is definitely one for 2021. Like I said, I'm, 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 you know, looking forward to, to watching how this one plays out, brother. Yeah, and we just we let's just get it on. If they want, if they want to get on, you know, let's just do it. You know, I'm not, I'm not running or going anywhere. Sign the contracts. I'll sign the contracts. I mean, my wrestlers aren't afraid, and I know the IOD is not afraid. And yeah, like I said, I mean, uh. Shout out! Shout out to to Paul and uh, and the IOD. I said just uh, set what like I said set 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 it in the record, set it in the old school traditional way. Jerry, send it in and hey, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Oh yeah, and and the thing is, Eric Fontaine did get something from Blade Runner Rank saying no more song and games. War Goddess is ours. Well, I'll we'll find out next cycle what's going on, and you know I. As far as I know, War Goddess is still under my con- I have her contract. She's still under contract with me. So the IOD, I don't care what games they're playing. Let, let's find out if it's a game or if it's the truth. Nice. Now, I, I got to take uh, a second or two just to shout out uh, <sighs> Family Royale Marchand. Did you know he brought home the World Championship to the LPL? No, I didn't know that. Congratulations to him. Yeah, I mean, now, uh, you may have noticed in the bulletin, there's a lot of, uh, I, I mean, I've noticed this a while back. There's a lot of uh, uh, interleague uh, matches signed. And oh, yeah. Mar- Marchand is infamous for signing him. Just want to shout him out because, like I said, he, he, he looks like he's going after the entire deal, you know, from within the LPL. So if you, you know... If you're one of those, I, I know you you like an outside uh, challenge from time to time, Jerry. I, I, I know Tim and uh, and Catfish you as well. So uh, he's definitely going after those twenty four seven titles and definitely going after the Steel Interfed. So 
it, it's fun to to see somebody you know reach out and uh and make those challenges so shout out to marshan brother and uh shout out to yeah. the diamond district out there frm 16 buddy represented yeah congratulations marshad you definitely earned that one keep it up yeah man good good, good stuff now um uh the sad man says uh he, he's not uh you know you know he's, he's not he's not worried he said roxy may have beat him but He's going after some monsters right now. Looks like uh, the monsters want to uh, stop time and uh, put the Sandman uh, put the Sandman to to bed. <laughs> put the Sandman to bed once and for all. Uh, who's this guy? Uh, shout out to I'm gonna slaughter this name so bad, but let's just call him the Genius Swindler, the Genius Sender Yamamura. Oh yeah, he's going, he's going after him and the sad man got a little something going on right now, so that yeah, should be fun. That should be fun between both of them. Yeah. Now, um, oh, we got a lot going on, man. But I, 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 I gotta, re, I gotta refocus and uh, shout out our February super. We only had eleven people this this uh, February that hit over four ninety five. Jerry, that's bad. That's bad. I think I was one of them. Uh, no, you, this cycle you did not, not, not the previous one. The February cycle, uh, uh, we only had uh, eleven, and that's not good. No. The, the the cycle before that we had eighteen, and then I think this cycle we had we had a lot more. Yeah, we had a good cycle this this one. Definitely, but, it's one of the best. Um, shout out to the Willowick Nightmare and Killer Carl. Uh, their series is two uh, one Willowick now. Shout out Killer Carl. Come on, yeah. come on, old, come on, old timer! I even give you a break one cycle in a tag match. Yeah, those guys are gonna go down to the wire. Uh, we, we, there is, there is no. Never stop this feud till till either he dies or I die. One of those, one way or another. <laughs> uh, Ricky Kyle, I think, kicked the living doo doo out of uh, Ray Ray this cycle. So mm-hmm. I think that one, I think that one is one one now. I, I think. Oh yeah. I, I'll, I'll check with Ricky. I forget. I think oh one. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That can't end well either. Let me tell you, Ricky, Ricky and Ray Ray. That's uh, should be fun. Should be good. Should be oh, good, yeah. Ricky. Oh, don't leave soon. Don't leave. Don't leave too soon. About to. Let's see here. Um, uh, looks like Lucky Stars isn't too happy with Triple A there, uh, Jerry. <laughs> looks like. Oh. <laughs> Ash wasn't uh, wasn't happy. Him and I talked about it and all that. Where AA's playing a little was playing a little mind game, saying, "Take and he pretty much um, lucky said he will lace up his boots again when he'll take on people who deserve to take him on." And he talked about AA where they was at says it wasn't really Lucky Stars in the in Eric Fontaine in the ring. It was stunt doubles. He says, because we were in the back watching, how dumb do you think we are? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Eric Fontaine and Lucky Stars were in the back. We were standing right there. And we were wondering, okay, what the hell's going on? And they've got lookalikes in the ring. Stun doubles like, what the? What are they trying to prove? Like, what in the world are you trying to prove? Now, speaking of AAA, uh, just in case, uh, what is the offering? Uh Change your fitness routine. It looks like the Indomitable One is now a personal trainer. Has he won anything anytime soon? When's the last time he won something? Maybe a pie eating contest. I mean, <laughs> at his little but, festival, at his at his November festival. <laughs> probably at November festival. Well, in his family, I found out he was the the pumpkin pie eating champion. The Indomitable One. Now, um, according to him, he. One handed choke slammed uh, BTY last cycle at their uh, rebirth pay per view, and now it looks like uh, he want he wants you to sign up for his uh, fitness routine so that you don't end up like a weakling like Big Papa Red. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know what I, I, I don't know. I didn't think Big Papa Red was a weakling. What do you think? Yeah. Big Papa Red's a pretty big guy. I wouldn't want to. T- well, I have to angle with him, and he's a good wrestler, and. I think the indomitable one, he's just trying to play a little guy mind games himself. And I was going to say, Big Papa Red's the wrong one to do because you're dealing with the former World Diamond Drop champion right there. And 
he's a guy I really don't want to trifle with. He got to that spot for a reason. Mul- and, multiple multiple tag championships as well with him and and, and Mama. Yeah. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the indomitable one couldn't hold his jock strap. <clears throat> now, what do you think about uh, Sugar Lips' uh, summer party? She brought summer a little early. <laughs> she brought summer yeah. a little. Early. Well, I don't, I don't know what she's been smoking, but you know, it's not summer yet. I think su- summer's quite a bit away. I, I mean, we're still in. February and we're getting close to March. Winter? And then... <laughs> Winter, we're so free. We're freezing over over here. We're like, you know, oh. I don't know if maybe, Poor if maybe lips. she drank the if she drank the blue water in the women's room and it gave her hallucinations. I don't know, but if she wants to have a party and call it the Red Heart Summer Party, be my guest. What do you do when you get in the summer? You're like, uh, Pipsqueak uh, got it from you, girly. <laughs> yeah. But they're always a little slow on their uh, trash talk. They're always a little behind. Yep. But the party for Pipsqueak was good. He had a fun celebration. <laughs> oh. He's been he's been on fire, like we said. He went to go hide with uh, with Eric Fontaine. He's you know taking cover from the monsters, doing a little training, getting himself yoked up, yoked up, Pipsqueak. Yeah, yeah, buddy. He was training. Little that little guy was training at Eric's gym like crazy. I mean. He was staying there, you know, and it was, un- it was at an undisclosed location, and he was there until he got his title shot, and I think he- Roxy was surprised how good he got, how better yeah. he got. I mean, he even brought home the Battle Royal, so it's been fun. It- it's been a fun couple cycles. Uh, uh, winter- yeah. winter's, been- winter's definitely been good to Pipsqueak and uh, Fontaine, so. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Both those guys deserve their success. Now, um, I mean... I hate to talk so much shit about uh, Triple A, but they they're just such douchebags. I mean, uh, but they're still here. They're still here. Yeah, they're like the, they remind me of a a group of politicians that just won't take a hint. It's like for crying out loud. Now, um, uh, something weird happened this last uh, this last cycle. Um, it uh, looks like because uh, we saw. Uh, I know Chicken Legs had a, a dance off against uh, against Sugar Lips, right? Yeah, yeah. There was a dance off that went that went down. And then uh, there's another dance off this cycle against Sexy Michael McAwesomeness. Yeah, I didn't get that one right there. That was kind of strange because McAwesomeness didn't strike me as a dancer. Well, it apparently, according well, according to according to this, looks like he won the dance off because Chicken Legs wouldn't even come out to face him. Uh, yeah. I guess sexy, sexy Mc, uh, Michael McAwesomeness, you know, just ended up, you know, doing the old Rick Rude uh, routine and giving a show for the ladies. Oh yeah, did the <laughs> did the old, <laughs> did the old Rick Rude did the old Rick Rude? Oh yeah, he's um. He kind of reminds me of Rick Rude and Rick Rude start when Rick Rude was a professional wrestler because he's got the same kind of style and he does the same kind of things, which he can back up in the ring. I mean, he's a man with the ladies, but when it comes to wrestling, he's pretty damn good. Yeah, him him and the BNC crew are, are, are definitely uh, one to keep an eye on. Yeah, um, you definitely keep an eye on them. <laughs> now, do, now what's, the, what's the deal with this? Did you see Catfish John and Bullfrog Bob had a match? With Eric yeah, Fontaine I, as the guest referee? Yeah, and I couldn't figure that out because they were, I guess they wanted him, they wanted it to be fair and call down the middle because there's been so much controversy. And what happened was they, Lucky Stars went up and said, Hey, Eric, I've got a big favor to ask. And he goes, What's that? I want you to referee the match between Catfish John and Bullfrog Bob. And he's like, Well, why me? Because, you know, there seems to be controversy in every match they have, and we want a referee that's going to be going to be fair. And they picked you because you're one of the most honest guys in this federation, and they know you'd be fair. So Eric said, "Okay." He called it down the middle, though. He did. He wasn't favoritistic. He warned both guys, you know, no BS, or else, you know, he said, "I will have no doubt of disqualifying you or disqualifying you, and I will count the pin and I will count the submission on either one of you, whoever does it. I'm going to be fair." And impartial, so no shenanigans. Now, now the match happened, and it was in the rain, like pouring rain. 
Oh, yeah. And so I guess it must have been a little hard to see, you know, who's who, because uh, it seemed like John was getting, you know, the better of, of Bullfrog with with ease. Like, and, and for two people that have gone at it, you know, for over, you know, two years now, it, it almost seemed, you know, a, a little strange to see how easy John was uh, uh, getting over on him, you know? And then uh, it, it looks like he wasn't even fighting uh, Catfish John the whole time. Did you see who he was fighting? Well, only bits and pieces I could see him when I was it, watching. It was Catfish Rob, John's brother from yeah, the no. Nightmare Dimension. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It, it, it looks like it looks like uh, they 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 pulled a little switcheroo routine on uh, poor uh, Bullfrog Bob and and everybody that knows uh, Catfish Rob is just a little more uh, talented than, than his brother John. So he was working Bob up and down, and uh, at the end of it, uh, looks like Catfish John you know came in and while Bob was distracted, rolled over Bo uh, Bullfrog and got the official pin. So yeah. Uh, so Eric counted it. He kept it down the middle. But, you know, when you're refereeing in strange conditions, he did the best he could. And nobody blamed oh, him. Oh, yeah. Before. No, and, and especially as much as those two sons of guns like each other, brother. I mean, in the pouring rain, you no, no, you can't blame Fontaine for that. He, he's calling it, you know. You, you would, you know what? That's how dirty these freaking catfishes are, brother. That's yeah, how they, dirty they are. Dirty catfishes. They've tried, they've tried to do that little... That little little switcheroo a couple times. They tried it in a match with, I believe, um, they tried it with Eric at one time. It didn't work. Eric saw through it. And they tried another time with, I think, BTY, and he saw through it, too. And it's just like, guys, that works on some people, but that doesn't work on everybody. I mean, they know the game. Anybody who's watched them wrestle will yep. catch on to little shenanigans. Well, um, um, I know Bullfrog and uh, Catfish Rob have a match at the upcoming uh, Hellfest pay-per-view with the Nightmare Dimension. So I, I, I know things are brewing up, brother. Which, I mean, they, like you know, Jerry, I mean, this is definitely a, a place where uh, we enjoy our trash talk and our angles. I mean, we, we enjoy mixing and, you know, blending with other, other leagues to, you know, to have a little more fun, you know, m move angles, so. I'm glad the Nightmare Dimension is coming over. Oh, yeah. Um, this, uh, which is good for some, bad for, and not 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 so good for others, huh? Poor, uh, uh, it looks like, uh, who is this? Somebody's not sure what day it is anymore. Not sure what they did last night. Not sure uh, if this hooded fellow is a friend or foe. Not sure if I'll survive. There's only one thing keeping me motivated these days. Howling at the moon. Whatever, whomever, coming or already here, you were warned. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too familiar with the Nightmare Dimension, but I've known they have a reputation in different leagues. I have followed that. I did a little research on these guys. And I know they've they've been in different leagues making their mark. I'm not too familiar with them. And I started looking into it when they were threatening Pipsqueak and what happened with Polly. And I see and I see everywhere they go and all that, they seem to cause some sort of terror and havoc somehow. Yep. I'm getting familiar with them and it's just a pattern. Have they crossed the wolf den yet? No, they haven't crossed it. They've it seems like they're fixated more on Pips Week and more on some other people, which I don't know what their fascination or lunacy is with going after Pips Week. I mean, I, l l hey, hey, look, I, I, even though Pips Week is uh, turning uh, turning a page and has uh, played nice right now, you could imagine Pips Week can get himself into a lot of trouble. <laughs> I think we all know that Pips Week can get himself into a lot of trouble and. Uh, I, he probably went down the wrong path. I I, I know uh, Sadako and him are aren't too good. I, I know she caught him. She caught him. Yeah, that that's how he had to get away. Sadako, he had to get away from his poor Sadako. Yeah, Sadako. Um, I'm not too familiar with Sadako. I mean, she seems like a very very dangerous woman. Oh, you know, yeah. she she can wrestle. She kind of reminds me 
a lot of the great Muda. He was so yeah. unpredictable in that ring when I watched him. And I'm paying this as a compliment to her. She kind of reminds me a lot of him early in his career. And she's so unpredictable, and that's what makes her dangerous. Oh, yeah. I mean, she and, and it's just like, uh, I mean, what's going on right now within the dimension, I mean, she's under the control right now of the demonic queen. So she he's, I mean, anytime you put a leash on a, on a vicious animal, Hey, <laughs> I mean, whew, I can't. I can't imagine what we're gonna see at, at this uh, Hellfest pay per view when they unleash her. Cause yeah, it, it should be interesting. But and yeah, we got a lot coming. We got a lot of coming. So, but let, let's get back to what's going on here within uh, within our wonderful uh, within our wonderful swamp. So, uh, obviously, we mentioned uh, the two old men going at it, right? We got uh, yeah. Killer Carl. Now, I met I messed up in the trash talk, but I actually predicted it was going to be a double drop in uh, <laughs> in 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 Willowick Nightmares uh, uh, trash talk. Oh yeah, I, I was teasing. I was teasing uh, Killer Carl. I was like, "Don't tell me you went for a double drop," <laughs> and it actually was a double drop. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, you agent of that too he is an old guy and all that he but he's still one of the best oh, those, those. <laughs> now um e- even though the nightmare dimension is scary and whatnot i think you know the the swamp holds its own in terms of freaks and uh and, and weirdos here because you know looks like uh, we're preparing for a, a a swamp uh a swamp monster barbecue <laughs> a swamp monster barbecue and so it looks like uh, the the what is it uh, uh, one of the sw- uh, recipe for uh, seven swamp gumbo seven swamp gumbo we have uh, ba- heard gumbo oh, I mean seven swamp gumbo is the best we got Balin's guts swamp monsters feet catfish eyes uh, eyeballs since he doesn't have any other balls uh, fox woman's tail Sadako's tears uh, skin of mm-hmm. a Sith. Cooked with uh, and kept warm with Aiden Brimstone. <laughs> ah, oh, it's that's gonna be not, fun. Like, yeah, that's a barbecue, all right. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just you know we got the LSL has definitely gotten interesting, or AIL, we're gonna call it. You know, now we're getting monsters coming in and creating all sorts of havoc. I thought the AI invasion was something. Now we're getting monsters coming in. It's like, what the heck is this? Uh, I mean, at, at this point, at this point, uh, I'm I'm just looking forward to all the trash talking and all the all, all the arcs that are gonna, you know, brew. Obviously, we we know Bullfrog and Catfish are going at it already. Like you mentioned. Uh, I know we 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 actually uh we have a show uh, for that uh, Hellfest pay per view, so if you haven't listened to that one, uh, knock yourself out. Listen to that one; it has all the breakdown of the matches that are currently uh, been signed, and a few uh, a few extra ones that we're hoping to sign. So, should oh be yeah, a fun one. it should be. I mean, like I said, it's just getting interesting. We got all these matches coming up and keeping the fans on the edge of their seats. It's you know I'm glad to see all the divisions are going good from the singles and tag team and six mans especially with the commissioner titles um everyone's doing good with that I'm really proud of the way that's going now um uh, our mixed match uh, series we we mentioned uh, awesome Mina and King Achilles the the money makers uh, they. They they pretty much went uh, clean sweep. They beat okay. they beat everybody, and they tied one. Guess who they tied? Who was that? Sugar Lips and Indomitable. Yep, that's the only team they really tied with. I mean, they had a clean sweep over everybody. But you know, trying to and I will give Triple A credit. I don't care what who's tagged with who, whether it's Sugar Lips with Indomitable one or Sugar Lips. Basically, with with um, time, time off. it doesn't matter who. It's just you get any tandem of that together of AAA, they're going to be hard to beat. I mean, you better bring something 
They bring their A game. You better bring their. You better bring a no pun intended a triple A game. I mean, yeah. these guys are good, and they've made title pages for a reason. And this mixed match tag, they're the only team that weren't beaten. So I, I look out for them in the next tag. Yeah, I mean, uh, they even managed to uh, awesome Mina and King Achilles uh, managed to beat uh, Poison and Poisoned this cycle. So, and that yeah, was an up. I gotta say that was an upset flip because Poison and Poison have been such a such been on a roll for oh, yeah. them to be like that. That's considered an upset. Yeah, I mean, I I, I mean, we, n- nothing n- n- not to take anything away from the money makers, but. Yeah, I mean it, it, it's going to be a fun series, man. Like, like, like I'm in it. I'm in it for the show. Like, I'm I'm right there with you. I'm in it for the show. I, I I'm not going to pretend like I'm going to. Like I said, I think we we said it during that uh, prediction show where I think uh, I predicted Big Mama and Big Papa uh, facing uh, the poison would probably be the, of the finale. But after seeing the money makers, whew, I'm convinced oh, yeah. they're. I'm convinced they have a good shot as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you can't really discount anybody in this mixed tag team tournament because anything can happen. Just when you think, okay, the team that's number one in there, oh, they're going to go all the way. They can get knocked out just like a baseball being knocked out of Wrigley Field. I I agree. I agree. Now, um, uh, you were saying uh, you had a girlfriend named Lockjaw? Me? I was gonna say, I hope. <laughs> oh man, she, she looks like such a splendid, uh, splendid gal here in her picture, man. Well, Jeez. like they say, a, a picture is worth a thousand words, and I'm not too familiar with Lockjock Shatterday. You know what her, what she is to me. She looks like a woman who lives in a in a on a houseboat in the swamp and wrestles alligators for a living dude you know she got money she got the watch and tattoos bro so i'm sold she got she got the nice 10 gallon hat on i'm sold she, she's rocking but you know i won't doubt her ability in the ring because she's a really good wrestler and i'd be careful with the ladies division because she could end up you know she could end up being champion yeah I, 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 now, now that now that our division is it continues to grow, oh yeah, it should be fun, brother. I mean, it, like I said, we got a lot going on here. Uh, like I said, uh, I I can only hope uh, everybody's uh, series uh, continues to to grow. You you know who you know who fell off a little bit, and uh, it, it it's kind of upsetting is uh, uh, our diamond drop champion. Oh yeah. Once once he got once he got his title shots, he held off. He he kind of you know went back. Did you notice that or no? Because he he asked for some title shots because he wanted some title shots. They gave him his title shots. And is he still active? Are they still active? I don't think he's still active. To tell you the truth, and Ole you know, uh, did did Ole fight this cycle? Let me check. Not I'm sure. He might have. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, but... they're active still. Yeah, they had they had a full swing. They just did. They, they didn't win any titles, but they're they're definitely all active. Oh yeah, it's you know it's one of those things where you know I thought for a moment they dropped off. You know after they're asking for title shots, they're getting them, and then all of a sudden they get them and win. And it's like okay, now where are you guys? Yeah, he, I mean who? who uh, I, mean, I, I guess when we have our commissioner show, we'll. We'll ask him who who he's facing next. Cause I think oh, he, yeah. he he beat Ricky Kyle and somebody the last at the last uh, pay per view, right? Mm-hmm. That's so he defended it. He's he, he's still on. Okay. Demonios looks like he's still going. Uh, yeah, they're all they're all active. Debolica is right there. I said so. Here we go. Yeah, it should be good. I. I where you at, Ole? Shout out, uh, Victor. Shout out, Victor. Victor, where you at, brother? Mm-hmm. I know. I know. Tim's been chatting up with him uh, on the little Facebook. So maybe, maybe Tim put him at ease. Be like, hey, bro, relax. Just come to me. Come to me. I'm the commissioner. I'm the commissioner. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. I'm 
some of these. Yeah, but get involved with the trash talk still. And I'd like to hear from you. Oh, yeah. All right, Jerry. Well, uh, I think we got everything that's on this one. I know we got, like I said, we got a whole lot going on with the Nightmare Dimension, but we're going to have another show featuring uh, the Hellfest pay-per-view stuff. So uh, keep posted for, for more on the Nightmare Dimension. If, if you need a match, Jerry, this is for you as well. If, you, if you're if you looking for somebody, there's plenty of monsters uh, to slaughter and to bring to the barbecue. Uh, just let me yeah. know if you need, if you need to. I, I, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think they signed War Goddess versus Warblaze is is the one that I think uh, got signed. But I'll I'll, I'll double check with the poster. Yeah. Cool. If it has, cool. I like to see that match. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a fun, fun one. So we, we got we got a lot going on. But uh, if you haven't oh, seen yeah. Pips, if, if you haven't seen Pip Squeak's new belt, go ahead and take a look at the LSL uh, Trash Talk. It's a great. <laughs> it's like, I have I have one picture with him with that belt, and I, I use it every time I actually win a belt. <laughs> it's the only one I use, bro. It, oh, always, yeah. says, it always says the same thing. You like my new belt? Oh, Pips Week. Love you, brother. Oh, yeah. He's our junior heavyweight champion and making everybody proud. Let's be honest. He looks a little chubby in that, <laughs> in that yeah. picture. He does, but, you know, he earned his success. I mean, he was a guy for so long that, you know, Everybody was kind of doubting he wasn't going to – he was a good tag team wrestler but didn't think he could make it as a singles wrestler. And he went out there. He earned his shot. And he proved it. And, you know, he had a chance. Jerry, to... Jerry, Jerry let, let's be honest. It took him almost a year and a half to win 10 matches. 10 matches, but <laughs> Well, I mean, it oh. took him time. I mean – but you got to admit, if he didn't go through the trial, the trial and tribulations like he did, would he be here now? Yeah, no. I mean, I, I, I honestly, I don't think he thought he could survive on his own. That's why I think he stuck to the tag. But it, it's curious. It's nice to see him, uh, you know, well, getting uh, getting comfortable. Yeah, and it was nice when he get when against Roxy. We had his back and everything to make sure no one, no one monsters or anything was going to interfere. And he made a count. He won. He beat Roxy for the title, and we were real proud of him. I mean, he went out there and proved to everyone, all of us, that he does belong in the singles division. And and he's uh, he's chasing the G force here. I mean, cycle in, cycle out. Like I said, so I know Fontaine took it from him this cycle. So you can rest assured that that's one of those uh, you know friendly rivals, fr- frenemies, frenemies kind of thing that. And Eric said, if he wants a shot at it, you sign it. You know, you proved it, man. Yep. I said, they, they, they've gone through their, their trials and, what do you, what do you call it? Trials and tribulations already, brother. Now it's just, hey, we know what we're going for. We, we, go, we want that gold. Yep. Yep. It's the way we do it. Man, I, I, I want to hear more about this crazy upchuck person, though, man, because... I'm, I'm curious to see what bowl has in mind. Bowl. What does bowl mean? Bowl. I'm not sure what that, that mean. I mean. That has that has me intrigued. Toilet bowl. Toilet bowl crew. Bowl. Toilet bowl. Toilet bowl crew. It's probably the toilet bowl crew. Or or the gator bowl or something. Who knows? I mean, huh. we'll find it. Crazy upchuck. You have us intrigued, brother. We're always on the front page, throwing throwing up all over my ring. Let us know what's up with bowl. Oh, Maybe yeah. the, what's up with the spare timers though? The spare timers, I, 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 come on, spare timers! I thought you were gonna be rocking and rolling in six, man. Come on, I haven't seen the rogues or the sh- dude. I haven't seen the shatter days back on the front page in a bit either. Virus, where you at? Virus came in here rocking and rolling. Where you at, cousin critter and the crew? Oh yeah, where did they go? We need them back. Yeah, I mean they're they're here. They're just there. Hey, 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 Jerry, I keep telling you, there's a lot of motherfuckers here in the swamp. <laughs> a lot of us here. A oh lot yeah. Of pe- I mean, you 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 think you think I'm kidding, but but <clears throat> anytime every time I see like files from other leagues and I see how many tag teams they they, they have, and then I look over to the LSL and I see that I think uh, Bowl alone had like. 
how many did they have? I think they had like six, six, six mans that they had signed. And I'm like, wow, they're really gunning for it, you know, Mm -hmm. which is cool. I mean, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad to see teams, uh, you know, they're actually trying to go for it, bro. We oh, had yeah. we had a total of sixteen six man teams, bro. So wow. it's not it's so it's not like AI's uh, crown slash and actual didn't have competition, bro. <laughs> they just they were just head over heels above everybody. Mm. Yeah, because I mean everybody. I mean AAA was there. I saw Order. I saw. Uh, Obviously, Bowl, uh, the Money Makers went after them. Virus went after them. Olay went after them. I see a couple of bowls. I see a couple of bowls. Uh, obviously, I went after them with. I so damn you AI. Well, I guess I, I guess we'll we'll leave it at that, man. Giving them even more credit because way to get her done. Oh yeah. Definitely. Way to get it done. Oh, man. All right, Jerry. We're going to go ahead and sign this one off. Uh, We'll see you guys next time here on uh, Swamp Talk. Jerry? Yeah, thanks, Flip. Thanks for having me on here. We'll see you guys, brother. Take it easy. Take it easy, everybody.